What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel. So this last month has been crazy for me. It's been nonstop traveling and planning. And no, I'm not just talking about myself personally. I had a lot of family visiting me this last month. And let's just say, um... I'm exhausted. It's funny how quickly plans change. Just last year, I didn't have anything booked for this year. Nothing was on the radar. And then within this last month, I was able to book three trips. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what those three trips were, the cars that I use, and how I was able to maximize my points for each of those individual trips. I know most of us like to redeem our points for these YOLO trips, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm all for it. However, I look at points a little bit differently. I look at points like a currency, like cash. Uh, this is why I like to save them. Because because you just never know when that unexpected is going to happen like last month and me having those points available i was able to use them to my advantage this is another reason why i continue to sign up for these intro bonuses to keep replenishing that account because even though i've just booked these three trips this last month i still have over a uh, half a million points within all of my accounts so let's get into it, starting with the new business cards that I just picked up. And when I say I pick them up, I'm referring to my player two. That is the Hilton Business Surpass card and the Chase Inc. Unlimited. Now, I already have both of these cards. I was able to pick them up as well with some amazing bonuses on them. This is why it literally pays to have a player two in this game with you. With the Hilton Business card, its current signup offers 150,000 Hilton points plus a free night certificate after hitting $4,000 in spend within three months. We already hit that, and as you can see, we have already received a free night certificate along with those 150,000 points. This offer is expiring soon, so if you are interested, I would definitely hop on it sooner rather than later, and I'll also include the link for these cards down below. With the Chase Inc. Unlimited, you get 75,000 points after spending $6,000 in three months. I already hit most of that. I'm just waiting to pay next month's rent, and that will give me past the required spend. That's another 225,000 points added to my stash just off of these two intro bonuses. Now, I'm going to show you how I redeem these points. First, I have my father-in-law visiting from Birdland, Germany, and you know I have to take care of the fam. His flights are going for around $1,300 one way, but I was able to find some amazing deals using my Aeroplan points, um, and I was able to find those same tickets for 40,000 points or 80,000 points total, plus $90 in fees. Aeroplan is becoming my favorite site for booking flights. I'm loving the points. I'm always finding some great deals on that site, uh, but that comes to 3.25 cents per point. And I was able to transfer my American Express points over the aeroplane and make this particular trip happen. But I pay for those extra fees with my Chase Inc. Preferred card, which gives me 3x points back on travel, plus that added travel insurance. Now, once he was here, I did plan a surprise trip for him to visit New York City. He's never been, so he was super excited. For those flights, I did use my Delta Platinum free certificate. It's a buy one, get one free for economy flights. Uh, that ticket was $330. Now, the annual fee on the Delta Platinum card is $250, so you can see I definitely got my money back and some. Now here's a fun fact guys, I didn't even know that was possible. Yes, you can upgrade your seat to either Comfort Plus or First Class. I didn't know that was possible, but I did end up uh, upgrading the seats to Delta Comfort Plus for $10 one way or $20 per person. I was actually going to cancel this card earlier this year. I called into American Express to cancel. They did give me a retention offer of 5,000 points after some additional spend, but now knowing that I can upgrade those seats, I would definitely keep this card. Once they were in New York, they stayed at the Thompson Hotel near Central Park. Beautiful location, rooms are going for around five to six hundred dollars per night. I was able to get a room for 25,000 higher points, which I transferred over from my Chase account. That's 2.4 cents per point. Normally higher points go for around 1.7 to 1.8 cents per point. Now, my wife did say that the hotel was a little dated, but the rooms were nice and comfy. And most importantly, they got amazing customer service. Not to mention when they did arrive back home, I got the award for the best son-in-law. The in-laws are now out of the way, and now my parents come to visit. And with them, I put them in a local Hyatt hotel. Anytime somebody comes to visit me, I always send them to this hotel. I do pay cash for the room, but I am able to snag those qualifying nights into my account. Now, on another note, here's why I love the built MasterCard so much. They ran a promotion back in March, giving away Explorer status for Hyatt by just signing up, which I did. 
just by booking the rooms in my name and then adding people to the room, they were also able to take advantage of those benefits. For my parents, they only received those complimentary bottled waters, but again, it was a local Hyatt. But when my wife stayed in New York City at the Thompson Hotel, uh, she was able to get early check-in. They got there like 8.30 in the morning, late checkout. They left at like three, plus they got the complimentary bottled water as well. I also make use of the built portal. Now I don't do any bookings here, but I do use it to check flights with the transfer of partners. It's only one way, which is fine. That's just two separate searches, one there, one back. But once I find the transfer partner with the best rates, I go to their site directly and I'm able to book a round trip flight there. So the in-laws are taken care of, check. My parents are taken care of, check. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to tap that like button so this video can be shared with others. Now it's about me. And it's about time because I need a personal vacation. And it just so happens that I have something going on in Atlanta that I need to attend. So I'm gonna be staying at a hotel in Atlanta for three nights. It will be a Hilton hotel. I am paying cash for these rooms. It's less than $200 a night, so I decided to pay cash for it. However, I will be using my Hilton Surpass card for all of my spending at the hotel. I get gold status plus 12X points back. And I also get a $15 daily food credit. Now, for my flight to Atlanta, the tickets were going for around $300. I really didn't want to pay for this flight. It's a very short trip. Um, so what I ended up doing was transferring some of my chase points over to Virgin Atlantic and I was able to get the same flight for uh, 15,000 points, which gave me two cents per point. Now, if they do have some deals going on closer to the flight date where I can get an upgrade to Comfort Plus or, or First Class, I'll definitely take that if it's cheap enough. But like I said, it's a short flight, less than 90 minutes. So if they don't have that or they're not offering any upgrades, that's totally fine with me. So you see why it's so important to have a stash of these points handy. All of these trips were spur of the moment. Plus, I just got the phone with a friend of mine in LA and they're going to be having a baby shower soon. So so we'll see how that goes. But that's it for me, guys. You see how our normal guy redeems his points for travel. Uh, points do not always have to be redeemed for extravagant travel. You just have to be smart about when you do decide to use them. And again, if you are interested in any of the cards mentioned in the video, I'll include those links below. But now I want to hear back from you. I want to take a slight poll here. Do you only use your points strictly for YOLO trips or do you also use it for regular travel? Comment below and let me know. I would love to hear. As always, thank you so much for uh, watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.